What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and if you have an Amazon Fire TV stick, this video is right up your alley. As you probably already know, if you have this remote, you can't raise the volume, lower the volume, mute, or even turn off the TV. What you're gonna need is the universal remote add-on. Now make sure you get the right version. There's two versions that are out, one with the microphone and one without. This cost me about $15, totally worth it. There's another one that's $30 and it clips on on the side, but I, I, I don't like that one because it, it makes the uh, remote look bulky and it's twice, I could get two of these for the price of that one universal remote. So first thing you wanna do is pull this tab and then you'll have the button cell in here. Next, you wanna remove the back cover. All right, and then simply Line it up like that and slide it down. And that's it. Look at that. Looks pretty nice, right? So if you just want to control the Fire TV stick, you just have this side and then flip it over and then you can control your um, TV volume, TV power. The TV power right here, uh, the input, you can change the input, then raise the volume, lower the volume and mute. And this is the learning button. So make sure you have a universal TV remote that is already programmed to your TV or have the original TV remote. So you're going to need that to program this remote. Let's go ahead and get started and press and hold the learning button for six seconds and it should stay lit. There it is. It's in learning mode right now. And next you want to press, let's go ahead and program this button. So power, power, that one's programmed, and then input, and where's the input button? Source, actually, it's on this remote. That is programmed, this is volume up, and then press volume up, volume down, press volume down, and mute. And where's mute? There's mute right there. All right, let's go ahead and test it out. And no, oh, um, let's go ahead and close out the programming. I'll hold it down for six seconds. And then the light turns off. Boom, it's programmed. All right, so on this side, you want to make sure you aim the infrared sensor to the TV, of course. Let's go ahead and raise the volume. Looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and hit the mute button now. Mute. Very good. Uh, volume down. And if you hold it down, it'll just keep on going. Hit the input button and see if it changes the input. So let's try it now. Power. Now it works perfect. Well, if you guys are interested in this universal remote add-on for your Amazon Fire TV Stick remote, check out the link in the video description below. If you want to subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos like this, Click on that subscribe button right here or down below and check out some of my other how-to videos. Thanks guys for watching and don't forget to share this to anyone that owns an Amazon Fire TV stick.